In this part, we are going to create a vocabulary specification. We name the vocabulary, we insert the description and the base IRI for terms defined in that vocabulary. In our case, it is DCAT. The first thing we are going to do is we are going to add some classes. So we are going to add a resource including its name, IRI, and description. We are going to include a catalog. We are going to include a data set. A distribution. And finally, a role class. Now we are going to want to specify that catalog is a subclass of dataset, and a dataset is a subclass of resource. Now we want to say that role is a subclass of SCOS concept. However, we do not have the SCOS vocabulary in our environment yet, so we need to include it. We import it from the RDF SCOS representation that we have cached because the original representation doesn't have cores enabled. We show the SCOS concept class, we remove the association that is included in the vocabulary because we do not need it, and we drag the generalization uh, relation the subclass of. Now we want to create some attributes, uh, data type properties. So we are going to create a temporal resolution attribute uh, with a definition and a range of duration. And now we are going to include some relationships, object properties. We are going to include a dataset connecting catalog and dataset. And a distribution connecting dataset and distribution classes. Now we want to say that a distribution has an access URL. The range of access URL is RDFS resource. We do not have the RDFS vocabulary in our environment yet, so we need to import it. We can change the color of the vocabulary. And now we can show the RDFS resource class and drag the association access URL from distribution to resource as previously shown. Now we do the same with uh, theme taxonomy from catalog to SCOS concept scheme. So we add SCOS concept scheme to the canvas. We remove the associations that we do not need and we drag the relationship. Finally, we add the DCAT theme relation from resource to SCOS concept. Here note that the auto suggestion of the IRI includes the slash, so we removed it. Now we want to say that DCAT theme is a subclass of uh, DC terms subject. So we added the DC terms uh, vocabulary and we specified the relation. Now we can preview the specification and as you can see, the RISPEC based specification documentation is already 
generated with all the classes and properties that we defined in the vocabulary. Now we may want to um, customize this uh, by using a different respect config. So here, if you know respect config properties, you can change the metadata. You can also include static texts in the template. Moreover, we can see the attached machine readable representation of the vocabulary in RDFS and OWL that will be published together with the specification. In the end, we can download the specification to be published on the web.